And now it's time for today's guest. You know Jeremy Ray Taylor from his iconic role in the 2017 horror film It. Well, the franchise is back and scarier than ever with It Chapter 2. Take a look. Everyone, please give a warm build brunch welcome to Jeremy Ray Taylor. Hello. Woo. Oh, man. I can't tell you how excited I am for, for the next movie for Chapter 2. The first one is one of my favorite movies ever. Thank you. I love the original, but you guys took it and made it so funny. And I'm just hoping that the second one is just... I mean, if it's half as good as the first one, I'll be happy. It will be amazing, but it'll definitely be scarier. Scarier? Way scarier. How is that possible? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but somehow Andy pulled that off. I don't, I don't know. Andy's the director. He's an amazing guy. Yeah, it'll be... Yeah. Bring adult diapers. You'll need them. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's going to be wow. insane. Well, yeah. you know what? I'm already wearing one, so it's all good. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. You got the memo. She lives Thank in a you. van. It's yeah. 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 We oh, all cool. live in vans. <laughs> I heard about that, but I won't ask questions. <laughs> So what are you most excited for Ben's storyline? Oh boy, I mean, you know, he has this big transformation and he's, he's kind of lonely because no, nobody ever filled that gap that the Losers Club ever filled. So it's, it's gonna be nice to see how touching that reunion is. Yeah, and Jay Ryan plays the adult version of your character. How was it when you met? Were you guys like, ooh, look at us? It was really <laughs> strange. It was, it was awesome because, I mean, like meeting your older self is very different. I mean, not many people get to do that. I was, it, was, it was really cool. We have the same mannerisms. It's mm. really weird. It's really cool, though. It's like into the future, almost. Yeah, it's very strange. <laughs> but I'd love to look so like good. that. Guy. Uh, you will. Yeah, You hopefully. guys are already twins. Yeah, it's like those eyes are like the so eyes. similar, yeah. yeah I'm curious, did true. they tell you to do anything specifically that they were gonna have him mimic as an adult? Like, not mannerism? really. It's no. like, it's just, it just aligned really, really oh. well. Yeah. Wow, that's super cool. What was it like reuniting with the original cast members beyond this? And like, had you all kept in touch after the first film? Yeah, I mean, we, we try to get together <clears throat> all the time, but we live in such different places that it's really hard. So being able to like work together again was, was really, really fun. I didn't even know that it was gonna be that amazing. It was really great. That's awesome. And according to Forbes, it is the highest grossing for a horror film of all time. So like, what was that like? Like, did you did you guys expect that? Was that not at all? We did not expect that at all. No, I mean, we all had like really really big doubts because I mean people hated us for it because we were making a remake of something that was so beloved and they were like, why why fix it if it's not broken? So it was really it was really scary. We all had <coughs> doubts and that first trailer dropped and we were like, this might be something. So we we didn't we didn't expect that at all. No. That's so exciting. Yeah. And speaking of remakes, you're also part of Nickelodeon's Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yes. Woo! So, yes. Which is great. So what? So this is now your, almost your second iconic franchise thing that you're being a part of bringing back. What, what's that like? I'm super excited for this one. It's going to be really cool. This is my first like TV thing. Mm -hmm. So really excited. It's going to be really, really awesome. It's, I think it'll have that big nostalgia factor. People will love it. Right. Did you watch the original to prep? I, I have seen a few episodes. I think it's, it's really, really similar in the way they're doing things. So I think the people that watch the original will love it as long as new, as well as newcomers too, yeah. Um, are you a fan of like horror thriller movies? I thought you were gonna say, are you afraid of the dark? Are you, yeah. <laughs> are you afraid of I'm the dark? I'm going to live with so many puns for like the next three months. I know. Yeah. But are you, are you a natural fan of horror films or now you are because you've done so many? I mean, actually before it, I was so scared of them. I couldn't watch right. them at all. Um, now, I love them. I is, watch that, them all the time. is that because you now know the magic that goes in behind them, so they scare you less? I or? think so. It's either I've hit like this maturity where I don't get scared by them anymore, or it's because I've seen behind the scenes, so I'm okay with them now. I'm cool. not sure which one it is. Well, a little bit of both. you're a braver man than I am. I can't yeah. watch it. I'm scared. How did you hit that maturity? I'm still looking for mine. <laughs> I don't know. It just like came, and I got really excited, and now I'm watching them all the time. She can't even watch Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yeah. Like, oh, I used to try, it. and it was terrifying. I don't blame you. But do you watch them you. alone? I do. I, I, I can. That's scary. I'd rather not, but I, but I can, yeah. Okay. Wow. wow. And you also have a partnership with Safe and Sound Schools, and they have yes. a big back-to-school initiative. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so Safe and Sound Schools, I mean, kids have, I mean, reported anxiety levels higher than ever before right now. So Safe and Sound Schools is trying to, to go into these schools and make it feel like a more relaxed, inclusive environment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's the one way they do that? I think that's so important. Well, I mean, uh, this year we're doing this thing called the Good Days Tour, where me, uh, the Chasing Da Vinci, and Safe and Sound Schools are going to go to three schools, and people can submit them, submit their own schools on safeandsoundschools.org. Okay. And we're going to go, and we're going to get up and close and personal, and we're going to talk to them, and, and just make it feel like a, a better environment. Why is that something that you feel so strongly about? Well, I mean, yeah, um, like I said, 
the anxiety reports have been so high and I'm homeschooled and I'm, my anxiety is high. So like I yeah. can imagine being in that place every single day and, and being bullied and all that stuff. It just, it's just, it's a really, really stressful pace and I, I don't think it should be. Yeah, it's really cool that you're putting some time and effort. I yeah. agree with you. I have some nieces and nephews in middle school and yeah. it's just tough. Um, and you have so much going on, but I like that you are still playing Fortnite and pretty Absolutely. religiously. Yeah. So yeah. you just competed in the World Cup? I did, yeah. The, the, the Fortnite Celebrity Pro End. It was a blast. It was so fun. Take me through what the format of that is. Like, do you show up and everybody's just gaming in a big room? Or, like, what is, how intense is it? They take it really seriously. Right. Like, there, there's a practice room that they had set up for everybody that was staying at the hotel. Yeah. And I was going to go in. I was like, yeah, I'm just looking to play some games for about an hour. And they was like, okay, so we'll mark you down for two hours. And we're trying to keep it as quiet as we can. It's like a library in there. And I was wow. like, wow, this is, like, really serious. Like, these, I mean, it's, it's like a religion. Like, yeah. They're really, really serious about this gaming. It's really cool. Yeah. High schools even started to, like, put esports teams. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. starting to, like, because it's becoming such mm -hmm. a huge, huge industry. Yeah. You can get scholarships to college. Now, yeah, that's right? what I was about to say. Which is insane. And the top performers can win like hundreds of thousands of yeah. dollars. Yeah. So what does somebody have to do to get good at <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we need money. It <laughs> takes a lot of time. I mean, I've been playing since like the, the day it came out. So I'm, I'm okay. But like people that play for 24 hours straight, like these streamers actually do 24 hour streams of just them playing Fortnite. That's wow. so intense. It's insane. It's really insane. I just know the dance moves. Yeah, exactly. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so surprised you're not scared of Fortnite. Right? <laughs> I don't play it, I just dance. Got it. Yeah. Well, Jeremy, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, I can't absolutely. wait to see it, chapter two. Yeah. I love you. Thank you guys for having me.